Now in this video we are going to talk about the system logs. Now what are logs? Logs are nothing but it creates a report of whatever the process are happening into the Linux operating system. Into our previous video we have checked for the performance of different devices. But what if, if I am not continuing checking the particular devices or if there is an error occurring into the backend? How we are going to come to know those particular errors? So for that logs are very important to be created into the Linux operating system. But luckily your system, your Linux operating system creates the logs itself by default. So we do not have to create it. By default your system creates the logs which are a flexible and a powerful logs we create by using the Linux or system tools. Now into this Linux operating system, it creates the logs in the file called as a syslog. So syslog is called as your system log files which are by default located centralized in a local profiles called as slash etc slash log d or you can also get it into the system log itself. So this is about the logs. Now if I want to check what the logs we have created and what are the actions we can perform after this log. Now for example the logs are created and I am not going to check the logs. What will happen? I won't come to know what is the error happening into the backend. Now for that we can also set an actions for this logs. So we can set the options that whatever the files we have, whatever the, whatever the log files we have, it should be printed. So we can give var log lpr.log. So it will be printed into this particular file. As well as we can also directly move into the particular console. Like if I want to the log to be checked directly on the console, I can directly put it on the console or any of the terminals. Same way we can also assign an action so that whenever logs are created after a day, after end of the day, the log file should be sent to a particular user or a root. We can any assign any users where this particular log message should be sent. Then we can also pipe a message to a particular program. Now if suppose I want to get this logs into a particular file which is stored into a particular folder. So it should create a day wise logs into that directory itself. I can also create into that or I can put it into the certain program. It will check for the failure logs, it will filter the failure logs and will provide me the error messages itself. Then also we can send this particular messages on the other host as well. So not only in your actual system or the system which you have logged on, we can also put this logs into the other system. Now for example, I am a system administrator sitting at my AD or the server. I should get this particular logs directly on my console whenever I have logged in. So those particular message can also be sent on the other host. So let us see how we can check for this logs, how we can get this logs or how we can redirect it to the particular user or a particular host into our terminal. So we can check for the system logs into cat etc syslog which we generally have. Okay, so um, we should be our root that So we have multiple files here. Right now we do not have any system logs created into it, but yes, we can also check for the logs into the cd slash var slash logs. So you can see we have the log directory here and we can also check the logs over here. So there are different uh, commands I have used for different services. I do have the logs. So what are the services generally I use uh, mostly generally the logs are created over here. You can see cup service, GDM, and no audit logs, boot logs. So I can also check the boot logs, what the boot logs contain. Like if it's working fine or it has some errors, I can check it over here. So whenever your system gets started, it creates and manages this boot logs. Same way we have multiple logs which we uh, generally use. So once you go and create the services, once you go and manage your services, you will be able to see these logs. So you can check there is again the error we I have received while using my yum. So it has created um, yum.log a separate services. So uh, it's nothing into it right now because it's I think it's completely flushed out when I have uh, reset my machine. So also we have different logs like we have used the uh, Samba process, we have used the TTN process. Correct. So all the logs we can check by opening one of one of one logs. And if you have any particular service, it will create a separate log for it. Or if you do not remember this particular, you know, the path that is var slash the log, 
if you do not remember it you can also use the command called as emsh so i can use dmesg so it will again show you the complete logs till now which we have here so you can check for um, the process the complete log by using more it will show you the logs for your complete system logs so this is how we generally check for the logs which by default get created into your systems so if you want to create your manual logs as well so you can also create your manual logs by using some dropping tools the dropping tools are like uh, we have the wireshark which is a fruit free tool we generally we have available into the linux operating systems so we can use those those to you know spoof your or you can say trap your complete activities which is going on into the over the internet same way you can also trap the processes over here by using the dump or a creation into the wireshark itself so for wireshark you need to download those tools and you can work on it so right now these are the system logs which your system creates by your own so if you want to manually create your logs you can do it but it will be uh, the same as generally the logs you generally find into the war logs so you will find systematic logs created only by the system itself and you can also set up messages for this logs like if any particular uh, logs get failed or if any particular services fail so you can also send a message over this logs to your email addresses so by default your root gets this logs uh, in emails even you can direct it into the emails as well so this is what exactly the logs we have seen like how we can check the logs into the linux operating systems into next we are going to check for the you know the process management part that is signals and traps so how we can create the traps if how we generally get trapped into the machine and how we can uh, get the release to it so that's we are going to discuss so keep watching the next video